A major ruling on abortion has a lot of people talking today. A Fulton County Superior Judge struck down Georgia's heartbeat law for the second time. State Democratic representatives and opponents of the law just held a press conference reacting to this latest ruling. 11 Alive's Ariana Manish joining us from the state capitol. Democratic lawmakers say the decision was the first step, Ariana, in the right direction. That's right, Aisha, and this ruling means that Georgia can no longer enforce a six-week abortion ban and now restores a woman's right to seek an abortion up to 22 weeks of pregnancy, which is welcome news for Georgia Democrats and the executive director of a women's health care center who joined Democrats today in this press conference. She says that they are seeing patients as early as today, which is a change from when this law first went into effect when they had to turn people away. Now the legal limbo of the heartbeat law has been playing out since it was signed into effect by Governor Brian Kim back in 2019. A sister song, Women of Color Reproductive Justice Collective and other plaintiffs, they filed a lawsuit to block this law. The law was also put on hold until the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade back in 2022. Judge McBurney, he ruled that same year that the law violated the U.S. Constitution. He struck it down, but the state Supreme Court allowed it to remain in effect. Now in this most recent ruling, Judge McBurney, he states that a woman has has the power to control her own body and to reject state interference with her health choices and that the law is in violation of the state constitution. Now, the executive director of Feminist Women's Health Care Center today, she says the ruling is a victory, but they will continue to fight for reproductive health care despite political challenges. That the state of Georgia has an opportunity to stand for its citizens, to stand on behalf of our lives to ensure that we are able to live beyond, to ensure that we are be able, to, able to live beyond tragic circumstances, to ensure that physicians will be able to act in their expertise, to ensure that no one else has to die unnecessarily. Now, Attorney General Chris Carr's office says they will immediately file an appeal to overturn the lower court's decision, which is something that state Democratic representatives say today they expect that that, and they also expect the state to file emergency injunction to keep the law in place as this legal process plays out. Meanwhile, in about 30 minutes, the family of Amber Thurman, the Georgia woman whose family says she died as a result of this law, they will hold a press conference alongside their attorney, Ben Crump. Trump reacting to this decision. Reporting live from the state capitol, I'm Ariana Manise for 11 Alive. Back to you. Ariana, thank you.